known film of the past year, Crocodile Dundee, isn't up for an award by choice. The four films nominated for Best Feature are The Fringe Dwellers, produced by Sue Millican, Malcolm, produced by Nadia Tass and David Parker, The More Things Change, produced by Jill Robb, and Short Change, produced by Ross Matthews. We're talking this morning with two of the producers, Nadia Tass and Jill Robb, both of you. Thanks for coming in. Uh, before we talk about your movies, which are up for a number of nominations, Crocodile Dundee didn't uh, isn't up this year because John Cornell said he didn't want to actually be judged. Is that, you know, lessen the competition in any sense or put a dampener on the overall awards? I don't think it's a dampener. Um, I think uh, the awards are what they are. Um, they're a pretty important part of the industry. And I think also there are many, there are some films out there that really don't need the awards. Mm, but was it in any sense a slap in the face of the industry, do you think? Oh, that's a tough question this hour of the morning. <laughs> yes. I, I, I do think it's a shame that uh, all films aren't automatically entered. But then I think you've also got to respect the individual uh, feelings of, of the producers and, uh, and the makers and directors of the film. And they opted to um, release the film well in advance of the awards and also to release the film well in advance. So looking at it from a uh, strictly commercial point of view, and a lot of producers have to do that, uh, the awards it wouldn't have meant a great deal to them in a, in a, in a commercial sense. And but I guess as part of the industry, one would have thought they'd like to participate. It just seemed a shame when I first read about it. I think you'll have to ask them okay. that. Okay, enough, enough about the fact that Dundee won't be, uh, be there tonight. What about the fact that television series, which is, you know, we've seen a lot of great product come, come through television rather than through the feature film section, they're going to be represented tonight. Is that a good thing, thing having, uh, having that section, which I, I guess so many people actually do work in that side of the industry as well. Is that a good thing? Jill? I think it is. I think it is. I think um, if we're going to telecast these events, it's important that the audiences get some sense of identi identifi mm. identification. Asian. And most of them would have seen at least some of the television series, where the reality is that practically none of them will have seen practically any of the feature films, because usually the feature films are released after the awards and not before. Mm. So from a a straightforward audience, audience participation, audience. the Australian television viewing audience at large, I think it's important that the television segment uh, is now incorporated into the Australian Film Institute. Mm. And after all, it's the Australian Film Institute. And one would have to say that mini-series and other television product is part of the film mm. industry. Mm. Now, Nada, you produced and directed this mm. film, Malcolm had rave reviews um you must be pretty pleased about this coming off how are you feeling about you know all the nominations that you're up for tonight eight in fact well i'm feeling very good about the nominations i think what tonight will bring is another thing um if you don't win would it have an effect on the movie overseas sales no i don't anywhere? think so i don't think it will not overseas sales because we're sold in most major territories already. Um, Is there any commercial benefit then if you w take off a lot of the awards tonight? I think there's a certain group of people out there who won't go to see a picture that's classified as a commercial picture. Though, but However, they will be drawn into the theatre if it wins, say, the AFI. And uh, if that was the case, then I'm sure we would get that percentage of people into the theatre. Mm. Jill, what do you feel about that? If you take off some of the awards tonight, you're up for six. Is yes. that going to improve the situation for your movie? I've got to give you a complicated answer. When we won all the awards, or most of the major awards, for Careful He Might Hear You, it made an enormous difference to the box office. So I think if you do well at the awards and your film is just in its domestic release, it's going to make a lot of difference if it's properly promoted. In answer to your question about what difference will it do for more things change, we released this picture at the beginning of the year, so its theatrical run is now finished. And thanks to my good friend, Jan McGinnis, who gave us a fantastic plug for the video, uh, the film is now out on video. So if we win tonight, even some of the major awards are not the big one, I don't think it'll make a great deal of difference to the to the returns, but uh, we won't be complaining. We'll 
be very grateful and very excited uh, whatever we win. The other thing that we really have to talk about, the two of you sitting here, and we were saying before we, we began, if Sue Milligan was here too, it would have made three of the, the top producers really in the country sitting in this room. Um, it's really been a year for women. Women have really seemed to have been showing uh, their strength in the industry, which is a great thing. I reckon we'll go mm. from strength to strength. We've, some of us have been around for a few years, and uh, with people like Nadia coming up, there's just going to be more of us. I reckon the boys are better watch out. Mm, but it's interesting that it's behind the scenes, it's not just in front of the camera anymore. It's really taking it by the horns. You must be pretty excited about that. Yeah, I am. I think it's... Uh, I mean, I just think women are, are, are very sensitive and very intelligent creatures. And I think it's a good idea for us to be behind the camera. And about time. Great. We'll look forward to see what happens tonight. Thanks for joining us. Thank, Thank you. you. Do indeed, and good luck to Jill and Nadia. Now we'll take a break, then coming up, the latest fish stories from our expert Peter Doyle. Don't go away.